How do you define value? Would you buy a bag that's much smaller, but the same price as its larger counterpart? Today, I'll be reviewing the Nano Alma and sharing whether I think the bag is worth it. And that answer might surprise you. Hi, everyone. So I'm Joe, otherwise known as The Little Bean on Instagram, TikTok, and now here on YouTube. I started this YouTube channel as a way to provide more in-depth reviews on my bags, as well as provide a little more details on my entire bag collection. So if you like this type of content, please like and subscribe. In today's review, I'll be covering the features, price, size comparison, what fits, the pros and cons, and finally, my overall thoughts on whether I think the Alma Nano is worth it. So let's do some close-up features of the bag first. So it's the classic Alma shape. As you can see, it has um, the Louis Vuitton embossing here at the bottom. I was lucky this one was made in France. The bottom of the bag is canvas, which I actually think I prefer. I know when there's leather, it's very prone to um, watermarks and things of that nature. The zippers are super shiny, really pretty here. All right, so to take a look, at the interior of the bag. Uh, there isn't really anything to it. It's just plain and open in the center. I do like that it has these little um, wings or whatever here that keep things from falling too far out. And then the bag also does come with uh, a crossbody strap that is actually really nice. It's pretty thick. I feel like it's almost thicker than the classic Alma BB that I also own. And then they strap right here and right here where those extra spots are for the crossbody strap. Something to note about this bag too is I believe the Vachetta on this bag is treated. Uh, now, while when I called customer service to confirm this, they said it is, but obviously you're not going to run around in a monsoon with this bag. So it's one that I'm still careful about using um, in inclement weather situations, uh, but it is nice that it's not... Um, that really bright white fresh vachetta where I just live in fear every time I use it. First thing we're going to talk about is the price. So this bag, uh, the monogram version is $17.60. Now that price might be a little controversial because it is, I believe, the same um, price as the Alma BB, which is significantly bigger. I'll do a comparison in a moment. Joe from the future here. I just wanted to let you know that the price of the Alma BB did increase since I last filmed this. So it's now $18.20. It's $60 more than the Nano Alma, but I still consider them very similar in price. Um, so it is kind of surprising to some that a bag this small would be this much. For me, I am a mini bag lover through and through. And when I saw this, I knew it would be exactly what I was looking for. Um, it fits everything I need, which will illustrate uh, shortly. So for me, the price was fine, but um, I know for others, there might be some hesitation to buy a bag that's the same price as a much larger one. So let's go into the measurements. So I got my handy dandy measuring tape. So across the bottom, it is seven inches height. It is about five and width. It's about three, maybe three and a quarter. So for a size comparison, I have here my Alma BB, which I laugh because when I first saw the Alma BB, I remember thinking, it is so small. Like, how are you going to fit anything inside? And now, when you look at it compared to the Nano, it's like a giant. <laughs> uh, but the size comparison is pretty different. Um, I'm going to put it on its bottom. So you can see how much space it is here. And then here, the BB is wider as well. And the BB does have feet, but of course the bottom is leather, which also makes sense. Oh, it's important to note too that the um, Nano does not come with the lock. I know um, the BB has the little spot here 
on the zipper where you could um, put the lock on there. So that is not included on the Nano. So one other comparison I wanted to show is the comparison with the um, Nano Speedy. In this case, this is the vintage Mini HL, but it is the uh, same size as the current Nano that is uh, still sold in stores. Um, so these two look a lot more comparable in size. And um, I have done uh, what's in my bag reels for both of these. And um, it's actually pretty surprising. They fit about the same amount, which, which I was surprised about because I thought that the Speedy would fit more, if I'm honest. It's really more a matter of which silhouette you like more, but both of these, I would say, fit about the same amount. All right, so for this next section, we're gonna talk about what fits. So this has been, I already have this full, so I'm gonna show you piece by piece what I have in here. It's pretty full, but again, while everything is snug, it is not too hard to get things out. So we'll start with the big question item, which was the phone. Most people are always asking me, does the Nano Alma fit a phone? It does. This is the iPhone 11 Pro. Um, and I have the 14 Pro, and both of them fit. Next item I have is my card holder. This is the Multiclays Robot. Then I have my key pouch, which holds my uh, car fob. And then my Celine coin and card pouch. And this is a mirror that was gifted to me from Atelier Auguste. I love their bags. It's a really nice mirror. I've got one of my favorite lippies from Gucci. My comb from Amazon. And gum. Okay, so let's see if this phone will fit. This is the Max. I don't believe, I, I have to correct myself, it's not a pro because it only has the two um, camera lenses here, but it is a max, so it is the huge, gigantic one. So let's see if that fits. And it does not. Okay, now let's go into the pros and cons of this little bag. Uh, just want to show my little bag charm as well before we start. This is from Dress Up Your Purse, uh, and it just matches so well. So I love carrying it with this little charm on there. It also looks really cute with my uh, Speedy, my Nano Speedy as well. So just a shout out to them. I do have uh, a promo code with them. I'll include in the caption below. Okay, so the first pro, and I think the biggest pro of this bag, is just that it's absolutely adorable. And if you know my account on Instagram, um, you'll know that I just love mini bags. And this one is just super mini. Um, clearly, it can fit more than it looks, um, as I showed in not only my What's in My Bag Reel, but just now in this video. So for me, it fits everything that I need. I know I've said this before, but I don't actually carry everything that I show in my What's in My Bag Reels. Even in what I just showed in this video, I don't actually carry all of those items. So for me, I'm carrying my card holder, I'm carrying my um, key fob, and then I'll probably carry some other little key pouch that has a few things in it and a lipstick. I don't carry my phone in there. I don't usually bring um, a mirror. I don't necessarily bring a comb. Um, and usually when I show myself um, putting in all the mini makeup and things, I carry some pieces of mini makeup, um, but to be 100% honest and fully transparent, I'm not carrying those things with me every day. So this um, actually has more room when I only carry those few items in it. So uh, it's the perfect fit for me and what I need. Um, again, I am small, um, petite, in size and so for me proportionately i find that this size looks just better on me than say the alma bb um, even though i do like the alma bb it's a classic um, but it's one that i'm more often um, leaning towards carrying as a top handle bag just because as a crossbody it just looks kind of big whereas this one i will definitely wear as a crossbody 
I also like that the leather is treated um, and that the bottom is canvas. It's a little more friendly than the um, original Alma BB that has um, in the monogram where the Vachetta is like all the way around um, and it's not treated. So I do like that I can breathe a little easier when I use this bag. And I would say as well that the zippers are, are pretty smooth on this one, um, which I do like. Uh, I know that I've heard reviews on the Alma where uh, the zippers can be a little um, stiff, but in this one, it's they're pretty smooth. So for the cons, um, I, I think some people will, will note the con is that it's so small. For me, it's not a con, So, but I, I do want to note that you're not going to be able to fit the Max phone in there. Um, another thing that I'm not a huge fan of, but you can't help. Um, it's just, I don't really love crossbody bags that cross in this way. Um, verse, I, I prefer having D rings on the side of a bag. Um, in this case, it's, it would be really hard, right? To have, um, D rings on here. You would have had to stop the zippers like right here, which could affect just how easily you could get in and out of the bag. I will say on this one, it's not quite as difficult because I know on some, some bags where I have this like catty corner type situation, um, the handles tend to do these types of things, right? And they get wonky on this bag. I will say when I do wear it as a crossbody, the straps will stay up like this. Um, when I wear it, that's how I prefer to wear it. And because it's so small the the handles don't ride up too far when I wear it. Um, but overall, I would say that is something that I find a little, um, not my favorite thing on this bag. Um, the only other thing I would say is that I do wish it kind of had a pocket or something on the inside here, like on the back, maybe just a pocket going across that you could organize a few things. Since it is so small, I'm sure people would like a pocket to just like throw loose things like, you know, whether it be cards or your mirror or something flat, like in the back. So I would say um, the only other con out that is probably the biggest con is the price, right? And again, price is subjective, um, but I think many will will probably hesitate given the fact that this bag is the same price as this much larger, um, for some more functional version, which is the Alma BB. Um, I get that. I mean, I think my philosophy with bags is get the bags that you know you'll use, get the bag that you know you love. If you're buying a luxury bag, getting your money's worth is very, you know, you're already spending a lot of money. So I wouldn't want to spend a lot of money on a bag just because it's bigger and I'm getting more material per dollar if I'm not going to use it. Um, to be honest, I use this one more than I use the Alma BB um, just because I, the Alma is, is pretty large for me when I don't carry that many things. And so this one fits better to my body. This one um, fits exactly what I need. This one's adorable and it just makes my heart sing as Minx for All um, often says. And so I have no regrets about buying this one. Um, I know from a price standpoint, it might cause people to question, but for, for me, I think that I have no regrets um, and that I'm really happy to have this cutie in my collection. So on that note, would I recommend this bag? Is she worth it? For me, she is worth it for all the reasons that I already said. I just think she's adorable. She fits enough that she is functional, especially with my phone. I think if it didn't fit my phone, I probably wouldn't have purchased because um, there are times where you just don't want to have your phone in your hand. And I know I have a lot of super tiny micro bags and people are always asking me where I put my phone. Um, I have a lot of those bags. I do use them, but sure, if I have a preference, I want my phone to fit. And so for, for this price and given, again, that it's the same price as the um, Alma BB, the fact that it fits my phone was enough to, to keep me saying that it was worth it. Um, so I would recommend it for sure for small bag lovers. Um, I wouldn't recommend this for everyone because I think it will bother people that it, it's pretty high in price for the size of bag you're getting. Um, so it's all about, you know, what, what you like and what you prefer. But for me, I would definitely recommend it. It is well-made. Um, it does 
have all of the features that the Alma BB has except for just the size. And so for me, if you are like me and you like mini bags, I definitely recommend it. So those are my thoughts on this bag. Thank you so much for listening and watching. Uh, please like and subscribe if you liked this video. Um, and please share in your comments below. I want to know your thoughts. Uh, would you buy a smaller bag that is the same price as a larger one? Uh, I just want to get other people's opinions on this as well and start a conversation in that way. Um, also, let me know any feedback on these videos. Again, I'm still pretty new at posting these types of content, and I want to make sure that the information is helpful for you. So just let me know what you think. Um, I'm always up for any feedback. And again, thank you for watching. Have a good one. Bye.